So we have seen students that uh, Gao sir being an unselfish boy had shared the magical rice bowl with his brothers and both of them being greedy and lazy had asked for large house full of food and good marks in their uh, report cards without doing any studies or going to school. Just as they had wished, there, there a house stood right across the old ladies that had just burned down. In it was plenty of food to be found in the storage room and on the dining table. Landua and Swajau each picked up a pair to eat. Instantly, two more pairs appeared to replace the ones they had eaten. They then found themselves able to solve complicated multiplication and division problems without taking a lesson. This is just what we want. We don't ever have to go to school or work or be hungry ever. And that was exactly what they did. They were happy to be sitting around eating, playing and resting their lazy bodies day after day. So, uh, Landua Swajau, as soon as they wished for the uh, house full of food and uh, good marks without studying, there was a large house in front of the old one full of food in the storage and the dining table and the food what they had eaten was immediately replaced. And so, they were very happy that they did not have to work hard to get the food or get the good marks. They were able to solve difficult sums very easily without going to school or uh, taking any kind of lessons. And it so happened that day by day they became lazier and lazier. So uh, their wish uh, to be uh, filled up, filled stomach and um, good marks was fulfilled. Gao sir was also happy for he was doing what he loved most, learning. He read and studied all he could. Three years flashed by. It was time for the boys, now 14 years old, to each make his third wish. Uh, sorry, second wish. What do you wish for? Gao sir asked. A house of my own by the river with a chest full of gold, Landua answered. This the rice bowl granted. Now, uh, three years passed and it was time to wish for the second uh, time. And Gauser asked his brothers, what do you wish? So Landua said that I wish that I have a house of my own by the river with a chest full of gold. And Immediately his wish was fulfilled. I wish also for a house of my own only larger than land was. Uh, instead by the river it shall be on the top of the hill and two chests full of gold. Swajau expressed his wish. This the rice bowl granted. Now Swajau had said that I want more than what Landua had asked for. I want a house, also want a house, but it should not be on the riverside, but it should be on the hilltop. And instead of uh, one chest full of gold, I wish for two chest full of golds. And as soon as he had uttered his wish, the wish was granted. I would like to have a library full of books, many books, enough to keep me busy for the next three years, said Gauser, smiling. This the rice bowl granted. Gauser, on the other hand, had wished for more and more books so that he could learn. That was his favorite pastime and he wanted to learn and learn and learn. So he wanted more and more books and immediately the wish was granted. Landua and Swajau laughed. Books? You cannot eat them or buy fancy things with them. Books are but volumes of dull words, they say. Books? What will you do with the books? 
other than uh, telling giving you some uh, boring words um, the books will not give you a food or they will not give you um, luxurious things you can't buy luxurious things with the books they laughed they mocked gauser Gauser went on to spend the next three years reading while still attending school and working at the local store. Landua and Swajau went to live in their own houses with chests full of gold. They spent the next three years eating, les being lazy and uh, getting fatter and fatter and fatter. So uh, lazy, fatty and greedy day by day they kept on being like that. Gauser he had studied hard he had um, ha he had been happy that he was being able to uh, read the books and getting knowledge and he kept on working in the local store as before and um, by the time the next three years passed. Uh, he got a, a job uh, of teaching in the school, married the daughter of the store owner. Where he was working, he married the daughter of that store owner and he also got a job of a teacher in the local school. It was time for the young men to make their fourth wishes. By this time, Landua and Swajau each had two sons. They had also married and got sons, Landua and Swajau, and Gauser. Uh, and the years have passed and it was time to wish for the uh, fourth wish. Uh, wish wisely, advised Gauser. Uh, he told his brothers, this time you wish wisely, don't wish uh, nonsense. I wish to keep the rice bowl to myself. It shall grant wishes only to me, Landua said hurriedly. Landua said that I want only um, rice bowl to be with me. Rice bowl should not be kept with uh, other brothers. It should be kept with me and it should grant me only the wish. I will be the only one who would be granted the wish from the rice bowl. I, no, it shall grant wishes only to me, Swajau shouted and he reached out to grab the bowl. And Swajau said, no, why it should be uh, with you? It should be with me. I also want that it should only grant me the wishes. And both the brothers started to uh, snatch the rice bowl from each other. I wish for it first, Landua argued, struggling with Swajau, uh, fighting for the rice bowl. Both were... Uh, fighting for the rice bowl and clink the rice bowl fell to the floor where it shattered into many pieces and to their horror what happened in this tug of war the rice bowl fell down on the ground and was broken into thousand of pieces.